we're back with more Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In this episode, we're taking on the second half of the Ancient Cistern, namely the Underworld half. To start with, cut down some spider webs. This one in particular needs to be removed because it blocks the way forward, but no more. Ooh, dropped a blue ruby. I will gladly take that. It's your lucky day, number three, because I will let you live. Nice. Got it. And once we go through here, we get to see an interesting use for the whip. See that shiny thing on the Pacoblin? Lock on and swipe it. I believe this is the only time you need to do this in the game. You can do it on your own terms to steal materials and such, but at the same time... Yeah, he's angry when you do that. So now we'll go through here, and we'll get a deeper look into what I call Hyrule Hell. As you can see, it's dark and mysterious, and at the bottom of this opening, among a pile of bones, the boss key chest. I know. Back in the sword. No! I really don't know where that came from. She's not a bad partner, but I guess at the same time, I've done this song and dance so many times, I guess I just kind of snapped. Anyway, we're back on the sunny side of the cistern, and now it's time to do a few more things before we actually hit the meat and potatoes of the underworld. First things first, if you need to get back to the main hall, we now have an easy access shortcut. But at the same time, yeah, I'm going to be chopping down some grass to try and find some parts because let's face it, having 7 out of 12, it's not terrible, but I'd rather not take any chances. Nice shot, Link. Anyway, as I was saying, going to try and get my health back, keep an eye out for materials, and at the same time, the ultimate goal get that key. You might want to get that checked out, buddy. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. Just gotta take it easy, I guess. Excellent. Let's go on up. So right at the top, we are going to face off with a Quadra Baba. And there's a lot of grass, so who knows? Maybe there's some hearts stashed away. Come on. What do you got? Hey, loser! Now we'll drop down here, flip this lily pad, and we will open an underwater path. Believe me, it ain't a pleasure cruise though because we're going through a narrow tunnel with ropes. Okay, there we go. I'm in. And there's one of those broke bastards. Hopefully I can sneak by them all because I don't want to take... Too much to ask, I guess. Although I suppose as a trade-off, I do get an air bubble. Not like I need it because it's a rather short swim. And look at that. Another Deku Baba. Well, luckily for me, easy enough to dispose of. Looks like he gave me some money. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Plenty of money, but no hearts. I suppose you gotta take the good with the bad. I know I keep saying that, but at times, I'm not even sure I believe my own words. But hey, progress is being made, so let's keep on going. Now the next thing we gotta do is flip that lily pad again. Because with it standing up like that, we can't actually cross that little gap. Alright. Back up here where I took out the Quadra Baba. And then we'll do a little whip work once again. Now keep in mind, you're gonna want to make sure you get a running start. Center myself. Nice. Nine times out of ten, you may not make the jump, but you'll grab onto the edge of the lily pad. 
You just gotta be very careful. It's something of a tricky jump, even though it's not supposed to be. Alright. Now we'll open this. And the path is open. Pretty soon, we'll be in the underworld. And check it out. Another Phoenix. Come on, buddy. Drop your tail. Gotcha. You could do the fatal blow, but I find it's far more effective to use five quick swings. All right, so now I'll pull out my slingshot. There you are. Excellent. Okay, now it's time to do some climbing. Okay. Okay. Doing good. Almost there. Nothing to it. There is a treasure box with 20 rupees back there, but I don't really need it at this time. I can get a lot of rupees where I'm going. This flywheel will activate some water, so if you fall, you can get back up easily. And this is one of the more aggravating switches in the entire cistern. You have to be very direction specific when you whip it, because if you're not, you won't pull a switch. And the big statue is sinking into hell. Well, ever so slightly. So now, I can't get the chest. But I will find a way around that. Namely, by going through the statue and finding a way to bring it back up. Okay. Time to get myself a good charge and... Up we go! Too much to ask, apparently. I suppose I can just do the um, easy thing and, yeah, that. Okay, in we go. Now, before I descend, I'm actually going to do something I should have done a long time ago. Turn on the water. And I missed one. Oh well. Not that it's a big deal. The big deal is, we have arrived in Hyrule Hell. Let's check it out. It's very dark and mysterious. And you see those guys in front of me? Those are cursed bokoblins. They're like re-deads. If you have your sacred shield, hold it in front of you because... You can actually keep them at bay. Fatal blows are the ways to go against these guys. Whoa! What is that? This is awesome. These cursed book goblins have a chance to drop evil crystals. There are ways you can manipulate this, and I guess I kind of got lucky. And it's a good thing, too, because... There was an improvement I needed to do on one of my items at Gondo's Scrap Shop, and now with this evil crystal in tow, I can do it. But now I gotta move my ass because, yeah, I'm surrounded. Thankfully, this shield can actually keep them at bay. Okay, there's another one down. Gotcha! They're not all dead, though. He's down. Oh, by the way, there are some other interesting ways you can actually manipulate these guys into giving you the items. I'm going to try it right now with the whip. Stun them. Line them up for the fatal blow. It's not always guaranteed to work, but... You know what? It has its advantages. Hopefully the bomb can get them. Well, I got them, but no evil crystals. Oh well. You take the good with the bad, I guess. Alright, so I'll put my whip back on because... I'm sure I'm going to run into another few. Yep, there's another one. Got 
Gotcha. All right, you're next. Give me that evil crystal, buddy. Well, not an evil crystal, but a crystal nonetheless. These guys pop up at the worst possible places. It's like something out of a scary movie. Oh, hello. Empty skulls. Uh, I suppose, much like the Bokoblins of the Oh well. No biggie. And I suppose since I'm here, I might as well summon the Goddess Ball. After all, I'm not even at a thousand rupees yet, so yeah. Might as well charge it up and try and get some more money. Who knows? If I'm really lucky, I might actually be able to get another silver rupee out of the deal. Nope. Just a bunch of blues and greens. But hey, free money is free money. Now, what does this say? A gemstone shines deep within the eye. Strike it to shut the mouth and damn the flow. Okay, good to know. Better grab a few of these because... I'm actually running very low on bombs. Ah, that's good for now. So now, we're gonna go over here... Ah, get out of there. Yeah. That is something you definitely don't want to do. And as you can see, I'm cursed. It's an effect that lasts for about 10 to 15 seconds. You can't swing your sword. You can't pull out these items. So yeah, it's kind of a nuisance. Interestingly enough, though, your sacred shield can actually block curse attacks. And there will be enemies that actually inflict curses on you. Oh yeah, that's right, I almost forgot. This is where the beetle comes into play. Fly, my pretty! Fly! Okay, so it said something about a gemstone in the eye. And we've seen this kind of scenario before. Just fly, turn, and strike. With this evil water disposed of, we can now break a block that's blocking my path. So we'll launch the beetle, pick up the bomb, and hang to the right. Yep, right there. Go up a little bit, look down, and bombs away. Fairly easy. Alright, now, before I forget, let's finish the restock, because having every little bomb helps. Just about done. Although, perhaps I should get myself a bomb bag so I can fit more in here. Not that it matters, because I'm doing just fine. Oh, come on. That's not good. And check it out. We're off just in the nick of time. Come on. Nice. That was actually a little too close, though. But I'm doing just fine. Alright. Get my... Stamina back. Nice little shortcut. Whoever says don't go against the Gwen, obviously never met me. Alright. Now we're up here. Lock out of that. And flip the switch. As you can see, if you try and outrun that thing, you'll turn into shish kebab. Alright, I've got the whip ready because, yep, 
More curse the tower. Okay. Oh, nice. Dropped another evil crystal. Gotcha. Not exactly super generous with the evil crystal drops, but hey, I can safely say that I've actually got them now. Okay, so now I'll just drop down here. And now we'll have to reverse the direction of these spinning things once again. Seems kind of annoying, but so it goes. Come on, a little closer. There we go. Now we're good. Nice job, Link. Alright. Now to do it. Just gotta get to the other side. And here we are. Excellent. One of them dropped something. Where is it? Ah, uh, don't tell me it fell. Well, that sucks. Okay. Now, we're gonna want to make note of that rope. We're not going to climb it just yet because the first thing we're gonna do... Turn on the water. This will be a big-time help for a little later on. Okay. Now that we've got that taken care of, now we can climb the rope. We're gonna climb on up. But this is where things get scary. Those damned cursed precoblins are on my ass, and they're chasing me. Let go of me! You've gotta fight for your life. They will chase you endlessly until you get to the top. Come on, Link, you can do it. Get off me! It can get a little scary, but it's actually not that bad. Okay, safe at last. So now that we're back here, we can actually put the statue back to where it was and get that key. So, let's go over here, plot the whip, aim and flick. Back to its former majestic self. All right, so I'm going to go back down. And instead of letting me, you know, drop on down, it hangs me on the rope. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And there it is. The long-awaited boss key. It's the Blessed Idol. This carved wooden statue looks like it's supposed to inspire gratitude. It also looks like the stone statue on the upper floor. Not again. And this time, we have a big problem. The Buddha statue, or whatever it is, it's going to lower and crush you. So, even though you have a chance to get interesting items out of these guys, don't. You get crushed, it's an instant game over. And you know what? Since the statue's down here, I might as well just ride it all the way up. After all, I've got the key, so why not? Okay. Turn on this water. And now we should be good to go to the rest of the... to the top. Ah, yes. Here we are. So now we'll just, uh, spin this thing if we can. Okay, I swear, I'm not do- This is not me being bad. A 
Oh, come on, I had it there! Okay, there we go. That was pretty bad, but I swear, it's not my fault. This damn thing does not work. Excellent. But we're not going straight into a boss fight. Well, that's because we're not quite there yet. So, instead, we've got some more of these flywheels to open up. And once we do, the rest of the way will be revealed. Can you feel it, folks? That sacred flame is just about ours. And now with the flywheels released, the great statue will come back out of the ground and the head will extend higher and higher and higher into the ceiling. Yeah. Big time stretch. Couple hearts here, and I recommend you grab them because coming up next is the boss fight. Interesting. I guess these things pop up everywhere. Alright, so... There we go. I'm fully healed, and there's a bird statue just before the boss fight, so... Take this opportunity to save. Lord knows I sure am. So, I'll save this game, and when we come back, it's the boss fight against whoever's guarding the flame in the ancient cistern. So, until next time, this is JP saying as always, see you cool cats on the flip side. Now, if you excuse me, CHARGE! <laughs>